Greetings, friends. It's me, Crystalline, your proactive and conscious aging life coach. How are you guys doing today? I am joyful in the Lord and in the power of his might. Welcome once again to my channel. Today is a very special day. I'm celebrating 1,051 new subscribers. Well, not new subscribers, but 1,051 total subscribers today. And I am just so happy and thrilled to pieces. I do want to thank all of you guys, my new subscribers, my veteran subscribers, my subscribers that have been with me from uh, day one, like uh, Teresha Young, she says she's one of my founding subscribers. There are many of you guys, and I, I'm too excited right now to think off the top of my head of all of you, but you know who you are, okay? You've been here since day one, and I so appreciate you all. And normally, what I do is I go on to my community page, and I actually give each new subscriber a thank you, because I am appreciative. But the last few subscribers, since I knew I was gonna make this video, I'm gonna put you on blast right here, and I'm gonna shout you guys out right now in front of everyone because i appreciate you you guys put me over the top so let's go uh thank you so much to debbie ferber gloria price i'm not sure how to pronounce this name i think it's zay zay set maria matreas Kathy Paris and it's Birdie 1977. Now Birdie just came last night too, as a matter of fact. So you guys, thank you so much for helping me go over, way over the top. And it just seems like the subscriber count is just growing exponentially every day. So I wanna say thank you to my very, very latest subscribers for coming on board and being part of this life's span wellness and beauty channel thank you again i gotta give you a round of applause now you know you guys this is funny and i know it's funny and you would think that i just hit the lotto or something or i just got a million subscribers but you know the bible says that a person that is faithful over the small things will be given the larger things. So I'm grateful, I'm thankful, and I'm happy, and I'm praising the Lord for the success of my small channel that I have had so far. But you know, in life, I try to be thankful, I try to be excited about things, and I try to appreciate things. So that's why I'm celebrating my 1,000 subscribers today. Before I go any further though, I just wanna tell you, if this is your first time on my channel, please subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up to like it. Share my video, make a lot of comments down in the comments section, and please, most of all, don't forget, to hit that notification bell so you can get my videos just as soon as I upload them. Yes, indeed. I'm having a great day today. As you see, I have my apple cider, sparkling cider. I have my little tiny cake and you know, I'm just ready to celebrate. So let's get started with this. Okay. Before I get started with the, the chief celebration part, I had a couple of items that I just wanted to chit chat with you about. And the first item is this. I started to make a whole other video about it, but I decided not to. I just want to include it in here. And first of all is the castor oil oil controversy. That's what I'm going to call it because I have had um, someone that was very diligent come into my comments and point out that on the, the uh, castor oil bottle, the Heritage Store brand, it says for external use only. And you know, this uh, made me a little bit flustered because that is the kind of oil that Jim and I have been using. And so I did a deep dive of research into that because I also saw that in some other comments um, throughout the YouTube. And I did a deep dive and I'm gonna tell you what I found. 
The reason why they say that is because they have the big 16 ounce bottle and then they have the double size 32 ounce bottle. Those bottles of castor oil are made to be used in large areas. For example, your shoulder, your back, the liver cleanse, the liver pack cleanse that goes down here. And they sell those items together in the Heritage Castor Oil brand store. Am I saying it right? You know what I'm talking about. They sell all of those items together. So that's how they market those big bottles. They market them to be used all together with the castor oil packs. And so they say for external use only. Now, if you go through their store, you'll see they market their castor oil products to the consumers for the consumer specific needs. For example, their castor oil capsules also contain fennel oil. The reason why they contain the fennel oil is to prevent any kind of cramping that may occur when you take the castor oil. Uh, but they also have some castor oil that has lavender in it. They have castor oil with different essential oils in it. But if you look across the board at all of those products, the number one ingredient is ricinus communis, which is castor oil. So I also looked at some reviews from other people who said that they had taken that brand of castor oil internally and nothing happened except what it was supposed to happen was it was supposed to cleanse and it worked. And I can attest to it because I'm still here. If, if I was not supposed to take that castor oil internally, I probably would be having a problem by now. But I do appreciate that comment very much because I never ever want to, you know, advise you guys to take something and it turns out to be poisonous or somehow bad for you. And that is why I also have a disclaimer in my description box that says, I am not a medical professional. I'm a, not a doctor. I'm not a nurse practitioner. I'm not a nutritionist. My videos are here for educational and entertainment purposes, just to bring you some new information. So if you ever, ever see something on my channel that you feel doubtful about, I would say, don't do it, okay? Go with your gut because your gut does not lie. So I also want to encourage you if you don't feel that the, the Heritage Store brand is for you, how you, how you can be certain that you're getting a castor oil that is specifically for internal use, you can go to your pharmacy and get yourself a bottle of castor oil. It's going to be about four ounces. It's going to cost about $10. So you might get a couple of uses out of it, but you'll know that it is specifically for internal use. And again, it has to do with marketing, okay? Uh, for example, when you see that little bottle of castor oil at your pharmacy, they're not going to talk about using it as a castor oil cleanse or a castor oil pack or anything like that. It has a specific purpose they market it for, and that is as a stimulant laxative. So go with your gut no pun intended but yeah go with your gut and if you don't if you ever hear me say something that you don't agree with just don't do it okay and then everybody can be on the safe side that's the number one thing that i wanted to bring to you guys attention today and let me get a drink of water the other thing is now you remember what I said in the last video about rude comments getting deleted from my channel? Well, I had one yesterday, okay? <laughs> and I, I'm just going to bring this up so we can just get this out of the way. Somebody came to the channel and instead of remarking on the video, they said, why are you wearing a wig? And I thought that was so rude because they didn't even say hello. They didn't say, I like your video. They didn't say, oh, this is great information. They just went straight for the uh, gusto. And they said, why are you wearing a wig? And so I deleted that comment. Not because it was, you know, it was offensive because 
they didn't say anything else about the video. And basically they were trying to be passive aggressive toward me and infer or imply whichever one it is that if I didn't have my wig on, I wouldn't be as attractive as they think I am. Okay. You feel me? You get me. Okay. But I want to bring it to you guys attention. And especially if you're new to my channel, you can go all the way back to some of my very first videos and even leading up to today. I started out this channel with a completely bare face. No makeup, no hair, no eyelashes, no nothing. I am not ashamed of how I look. And even if I was bald headed, I would still look good as far as I'm concerned. Like Kim said, bald is just a different type of beautiful. So I am going to answer that question right now so we can just put that question to rest in case anybody else wants to know. The reason why you will see me change up with different hairstyles, different wig styles is this. I like to exercise, you know, throughout the week, three, four, five times a week. And when I'm finished exercising, well, wait a minute. First of all, when I exercise, I'm wearing my hair straight back in a ponytail as a protective style. And I have been doing some deep, deep protein and keratin and castor oil, coconut oil conditioning because I'm trying to get my hair back in condition so it can grow and just be strong. Okay. So I wear my hair back in a high ponytail to the gym. That's how I wear it because that's comfortable. I don't have to worry about how it looks uh, and I can just go on and enjoy myself. And when I come home from the gym, I don't want to have to, I want to take a shower. I don't want to have to fool with my hair. <laughs> you know, I just want to relax and go on with my day. Now, if I'm going to record a video or if I'm going somewhere special where I don't necessarily want to wear a ponytail, I have a whole wig wardrobe of wigs that I can choose from. A little bit about me is I have a background in cosmetology, aesthetics, and professional modeling. And with those things in mind, I like to change up. I don't want to look the same way all the time. I also like to encourage you guys to change up as the case may be. Just because we're over 50 or over 60, I'm 63, it doesn't mean that we have to look the same all the time. Some people get in a rut and they get a haircut and they keep their hair like that for a hundred years, okay? And that's fine if that's what you wanna do. But I do not want to do that. I like to change things up. I like to look different and I want to do it in quick, fast and in a hurry. You see what I'm saying? So, I, uh, you know, when I was in my twenties and I worked at the uh, hair salon, I had people doing my hair and things like that. I would change up my hair all the time or either I would wear a different wig. But now that I'm in my sixties, I don't want to be bothered. Basically, I don't want to be bothered. I just want to enjoy my life. I don't want to have to come home from the gym and do twisties or blow dry and curl my hair or flat iron it or anything like that, okay? I just want to relax. I want to have my ponytail or if need be, I want to wear my wig, okay? Now, it's like thousands of sisters on YouTube who actually do wig reviews and they wear all different kinds of wigs and they show people. And I haven't done that just yet, but I might, we'll see. This is not something that's unusual for me. And so that person who made that remark, um, I don't know what the offense was that, that they had to say it like the way they said it, you know, it's, it's, not what people say is how they say it. So guys, basically I'm just saying all that to say this is whatever I'm doing on my channel, it is to lift people up. It's to encourage women. It's to just encourage you with positivity and to show you that you can continue to level up in your life over 50, over 60, over 70, and beyond. You don't have to get in a rut and look the same way all the time. Please, 
put your comments down in the comment section because I want to hear what you think about that. So let's move on. When I started this YouTube channel, it took me a long time to get started. I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't like to show too much cleavage, so I'm going to pull that up, okay? <laughs> it took me a long time to start this channel. And the reason why is because I am somewhat of a perfectionist, but I'm trying to stop doing that because there is no such thing as perfection. That's in our mind and that's a head game that we sometimes play with ourselves. So I had actually started a template and I think I posted like one video, <laughs> but uh, I was really holding back on posting other videos because I didn't have everything. I didn't have the cool camera. I didn't have the perfect camera. I didn't have the light boxes. I didn't have the uh, MacBook and everything and all the cool editing programs. I didn't have all that. And so I felt less than other channels. But my daughter talked to me and she really, really encouraged me. She said, Ma, just make the videos, okay? Just make the videos, just get started. And I did listen to her. So I, I got the light ring, I got my camera phone, and I got some duct tape, okay? So I said that before, with those three items, I'm pretty much able to do whatever I want on my channel. So I got started in earnest. I started recording right after the lockdown of COVID-19. We were able to go back out. I started going back to the gym. One of my first videos was how to prevent or reduce mask knee because I went to the gym and we still had to wear our mask. And I noticed that when I worked out, I was so sweaty and I was so afraid of getting acne. So I found some items and that was like the first video that I made. So yeah. <laughs> I just went up on ahead and started recording. And the more videos I recorded, the more comfortable I felt. And you guys started to respond and encourage me even more. So I really thank you guys for that and for sticking with my channel for so long. It's not perfect, but you know, somebody seems to like it and I appreciate all of you. So let me just move on. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about some of your favorite videos that you watched on this channel. Now, first of all, the, the very, very favorite video, it seems, was my last video, which was the one month castor oil results. Now that video has 3,900 views. That's a record for me, your baby boomer beauty on a budget. I've never had that many views on a video. Now, some of my shorts had maybe 12 or 1600 views, but never on a video have I had that many. And so I want to thank everybody who made that record for me because I really appreciate it. You have no idea how encouraging that is for me. I really appreciate it, okay? The second one, how to use castor oil, skin, detox, and more. That was your second favorite video. And I'm just gonna go through some of the other ones and you might remember them. And maybe if you didn't see them, you might like to go and see what other people liked. The next one was my chair workout with dumbbells and cardio walk. That one was very much loved. I think it got like over 300 views. And you know, some of you guys watching have a channel of your own. And, excuse me, and you might say 300 views, that's not a lot. But to me, that was a lot. 3,900 vi uh, views on one video is like through the roof. For me, one day I might have 5,000 views, but right now 3,900 is really making me happy. So the chair workout with dumbbells and the cardio walk was very much beloved. And I had made that one for Paula, who was having trouble with COVID long hauler 
uh, symptoms, she said she her balance was off. And I had done another video where I was riding my bike and everything, and I'm always talking about going to the gym. But now I wanted to do something for her so she could see that even though her balance was not as good as it could be, she could still exercise. And she came back and she told me she was really encouraged by that. So Paula, that one was for you. Thank you for watching. Uh, PJ's Homesteading Adventures. They watch my channel all the time, so I really appreciate them. Uh, let's see. Feeding the Homeless Vlog with my daughter Candy and I. That one was pretty much well loved and appreciated. Let's make a superfood sandwich. <laughs> that one was loved and appreciated too. And you know, I'm just always trying to bring things to you guys about nutrition and wellness beauty, you know, all of that good stuff. So I was glad to see that Let's Make a Superfood Sandwich was very well received. Also, my summertime skincare routine was very well received. And pretty soon I'll be doing another video on spring and summertime transition. Well, spring transitioning into summertime beauty routine. I will be making a new video, but you guys like that one too. And my best invisible sunscreen for brown skin. That one was important because I know all my brown skin beauties out there don't want to put that titanium uh, dioxide on their skin. And you know, you go outside, you're looking white like a ghost. Okay. So that one was important. And then also this one was really, really loved and watched a lot. My Riversol Glycolic Acid Peel with two new products. You guys loved that video a lot. So in the future and even now today, I would like you guys to suggest some videos that you would like me to do down in the comments. I cannot promise to do all of them, but I try to, you know, help you guys I try to use your suggestions and so that's why I'm asking you what kind of videos would you like to see me do in the future put them down in the comments section and give you know let's have a good conversation you know I love that uh, if you remember seeing any of these videos what did you like about them what did you dislike about them and remember keep it positive amen because this is a positive channel we want to help each other lift each other up inspire each other and empower each other to do better on this channel yes indeed yes indeed so uh i think it's time for me to have some of my sparkling cider this one is martinelli's gold medal sparkling cider i didn't want to come on here and get drunk but you know i stopped drinking <laughs> You know, I, I would only drink wine on occasion anyway. And so this year, I think I'm just gonna stick with my sparkling cider and see how I feel. You know, one thing about wine, it's really not serving me right now. It's just full of sugar, which this one is pretty sugary too, actually. But um, I don't want the alcohol. It, it really no reason for me to drink alcohol when I can just enjoy myself with my sparkling cider. So. Let me light my candle. And the reason why I only have one is because this is a little tiny cake and I couldn't even fit any other zeros. I couldn't fit the zeros, so we have one. And there we go. That's my little tiny 1,000 subscriber cake. <laughs> I, I'm just having a great time, you guys having a great time. I so appreciate all your best wishes and, you know, coming and saying congratulations and everything. You, somebody would think I had won the lottery or something, but that is encouraging to me to continue on with my videos. So let's drink a toast right now to 1,051 subscribers and more in the future. Cling. Wow, that is good. So I'm also gonna have a little piece of this cake. And 
I'm going to share some with you guys virtually, if that makes sense. <laughs> because you have been here with me the whole time. I do these videos and I feel so good about them because people from all over the world reach out to me and tell me that they appreciated the information that I'm sharing. So it's my little cake. Isn't that cute and adorable? It's actually um, two layers too. I don't know if you can see that. I always say that, right? Well, it's two layers, one and two. <laughs> so let's have some. Mmm, it's good. It's good. I'm trying not to eat too much sugar, you guys. I got to keep it together. You know I'm going to be in the pageant in July. Uh, for any of you guys that are new and don't know about that, I am going to participate in the Ms. Senior Michigan America pageant in July. And the winner of that pageant goes to the Ms. Senior America pageant in Atlantic City in September. So pray for me because I'm in it to win it okay i'm in it to win it so trying to keep my figure intact and i continue to hover between 150 and 152 which is fine uh but i'm gonna eat this cake right now oops <laughs> so you guys i want to say thank you again for bringing my total subscribers up over a thousand subscribers and watching my videos and enjoying my videos and letting me know that you enjoy them please put your comments in the comments section and i hope you're enjoying your virtual piece of cake along with me and i hope that you will continue to watch my channel and let's grow together everybody i'm going to say bye for now God bless you, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.